Hello everybody, Wolfback345 here, and welcome back to some more U-Boat. U-Boat has recently launched a new patch which adds quite a few quality of life improvements, which I'm quite keen to share with you all. So, let's go ahead and get started here. We are setting sail in the U-96, and this is my third war patrol in this particular campaign that I've been going through. We have just departed from La Rochelle here. And uh, we're moving pretty slowly, yeah, at uh, around two-thirds speed there. Our mission is to head towards Grid AM, and apparently this is a pretty dangerous mission due to uh, the sheer amount of air cover in the area, so we need to be wary of that. I do want to patrol the northern half of this grid, so I can try to intercept any convoys going to and from uh, the UK towards, you know, Canada and all that. This is a pretty large convoy route that, uh, I'm hoping to exploit. One thing that they have added, and some of you may have already noticed this, is a new time compression system. Obviously, since we're pretty close to land, uh, we are limited in how fast we can go. It's similar to Silent Hunter in that regard, so we can only go f times 48 speed. And even that, that's a pretty nice clip that we're, uh, we're moving at so it is quite nice to have and obviously we can go up to times 6,500 <laughs> right there so of course you can zip across the map at that speed so this variable time compression is quite nice and uh, it's a welcome feature in my opinion one other thing they have added that supplements this quite nicely is the crew management screen and I am a little confused on some of this, but on the, on the whole, it's quite nice. So you can set up different shifts for your crewmen, morning shift, evening shift, and night shift. And you can also set up your uh, shifts for your officers, all seven of them in this case. So we have three different settings we can choose from for each hour, work, anything, and free. And I guess I'm a little confused on the difference between anything and free. <laughs> um, so I really have them either working or free because I'm not sure what the difference is. I mean, there's no tool tips or anything. So, um, and my limited research admittedly, I have not found a difference. So if anyone knows, please, uh, please share. You can also assign like pr task priorities here. Again, this is a little vague. Uh, the screen allows to set pr work priorities for officers and sailor shifts. Higher number means higher priority for working on the associated task. So, okay, this is actually new. <laughs> there was a hot fix before I recorded this video, and also before these were flipped. So red was work and green was uh, free, but these switched up uh, since the last time I played. Uh, and this wasn't here, so I was just guessing that the higher number was a higher priority, but it seems that certainly is the case here. Which is nice. This is nice. We need tool tips and we need explanation as to what this means. So I do have this set up in an okay way. Obviously, it's not completely optimized yet. Uh, I still have some work to do in that. And then we have squads where we can set how many sailors we want on each shift and how many sailors we want assigned to each officer. So on the whole, it is quite a uh, robust system and a much welcomed one. I am pretty happy with it overall. And it's something, you know, people have been wanting for a while. I do think it has a, a little, a few kinks to work out, mostly with just uh, streamlining it a little bit. But overall, it is very nice. Obviously, with this new patch, there's been uh, quite a few new vessels added to the game and things like that, which are quite exciting as well. Let's take a look at our boat. There are quite a few new mods that have come out for U-Boat as well, and uh, I do have some of them enabled, but not a, not a whole lot. Uh, there is one that adds a real TDC to the game, which I wanted to use, but unfortunately it's not compatible with this new, match. This new, uh, this new patch. Excuse me. But there are some things, like this Compass Rose is a mod. Also, uh, we have diesel smoke. Uh, our diesel's chugging away. We do have exhaust going off. It's kind of hard to see right now, but if we really pour on the coals here, we should be able to see it. There we go. We should start smoking. There we go. Yeah, so obviously the faster you go, the more smoke or exhaust 
you will be expending. But we don't want to burn fuel like that. Let's go ahead and slow down. <laughs> no, thank you. But uh, the U-96 is all filled up on fuel, food, and torpedoes. Everything is looking hunky-dory. I did take a lot of food, I must admit. Uh, during my second patrol, I, I may have run out of food, and my crew may or may not have uh, been starving when we arrived at La Rochelle. But that's, that's, a, that's a story for another time. It looks like we have a little bit of water building up in the bilge. And they have added this little screen here, which is much welcome on the tab screen. So you can just turn on the pump, and uh, a sailor will go up and uh, turn it on for us. So I don't have to manually do it all the time. Looks like this fellow is going to turn on the pump, even though Hans was right there. You lazy, lazy guy. <laughs> uh, Okay, so I think that's all the all I really have to say right now. Those are the two really big features that have been added to the game. Obviously, lots of other stuff, but those are the those are the big ones right there, the ones I was most excited about. So we need to travel to Grid AM, and we need to travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area, and sink enemy trade ships for a total of 10,000 tons. So that's quite the tally we're going to have to rack up. Uh, let's check our torpedo loadout. So in the stern tube, what do we got going on? We have a T1 torpedo and a T2 in reserves. Let's check the bow compartment. Looks like we have all... Looks, looks like two T2s and two T1 G7A torpedoes. And then we have kind of a, a mixed loadout here. More G7E electric torpedoes than uh, the G7E steam propelled ones. Okay, well, I believe that's all I really have for now. Um, anything else? I'm just checking up on my crew before we uh, start cruising along. We'll go ahead and increase time compression for this journey. And I suppose I'll go ahead and cut the video now as we begin to transit the Bay of Biscay and head in towards the North Atlantic. So, I uh, will cut now and uh, hit that high time compression and get back to you guys soon. Well, we have reached our patrol area, AM here, and we got a radio message from BDU saying find the Empire Linnell ship and destroy it. So we have a contact on the map here, a tiny group, two to four vessels. We are going to adjust our course, turn south, and increase speed to standard in an attempt to intercept. I'm not sure what direction they're heading. This we'll find out. Looks like they're really just heading due west so it should be fairly easy to intercept here uh, the weather conditions were rather poor it's three o'clock in the morning so the sun will probably be rising by the time we are in visual range of this merchant ship so the first catch of the patrol I suppose I'll cut now and get back to you guys when we have actually sighted the enemy Okay, my watch crew has spotted smoke on the horizon so we're going to drop down to periscope depth and do a submerged attack. Uh, I guess I could use the deck gun, but I would like to kick it off with an underwater attack. So down to periscope depth, please. The seas are a little choppy, but honestly not too shabby. I, I think we will be able to maintain periscope depth quite well. Let's check morale. Morale is okay under the circumstances. Obviously we are gonna start depleting oxygen once our boat is all sealed up. And we are burning fuel. Let's go ahead and get our captain on the attack periscope. And we will get Hans on the hydrophone now. We'll give him an extra sailor to help him out. And we will reduce the workload on you, my friend. Watcher here will be moved to the electric engine compartment. Alright, switching to electrics. Let's drop down in speed. We don't want to close too rapidly. And look at that. Beautiful. And Alfred has already switched over to the electric engines. I'm actually going to send you to sleep and... Yeah, there we go. Hoffman will automatically go on the electrics. Perfect. I think uh, normal lighting is beneficial at this time for this attack. Okay, let's see, everything is looking good. 
Let's go here. All torpedoes are warmed up perfectly. Everyone's doing their job. This is the wonderful thing about the new crew management system. <laughs> I must admit, this is fantastic. Looks like Osterman is not picking up the merchants on hydrophones. Okay, there we go. He is hearing them now. Use some time compression and let them approach. We won't go above times 48 here. Alright. This is our objective. Sink the Empire Lionel. Uh, it looks like this course is fine here. Let's actually cut a little northward. Let's check the scope. What do we got cooking? Thank you for silencing that alarm. It's very sweet of you. Let's increase zoom. Okay, I can just see the mass there over the horizon. That's where I scope a bit more. Oh, there we go. Ooh, beautiful. That's a nice looking vessel. That's our target, Sent Empire Lionel. We have another fairly large ship. Wow, what a catch. Let's make sure all torpedoes are still warmed up. They are good. Okay, let's go ahead and identify. What are you? This looks like a Liberty cargo. see what else we have black swan c3 yeah this looks like a c3 cargo there's a, quite a few masts quite a lot going on on the deck there yeah that's more like it oh, what's this vessel it's not, obviously not a destroyer empire tower that is it we have these two k masts right here and then uh, one mass just before the funnel. Perfect. Unlock. And the last ship in the line. Lock. What is this? I'm honestly not sure. They've added quite a few new ships. And they all are very well modeled, I must say. They've added HMS Nelson. I do want to find her. <laughs> that would be quite the show. Also added a Kirov class cruiser. Dale class oiler, war class. Hmm, no, I don't think that is it. That's the last ship in the line. Hmm. N A one. Yeah, I think this is it. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in for the time being. Although I am not 100% sure, certain. I'm mostly just basing this identification off of these two masts, the front mast and the uh, stern mast. And uh, maybe this is that lifeboat there. I think that's it, actually. So we'll go ahead and recognize that. And we will get the rest of the solution shortly. Don't want to rush things. Okay, we can, we're can. we probably safe to turn towards the target, since our U-boat has a turning radius of a freight train. Alright, let's cut straight into them. And increase speed to standard. Okay. Let's see, what ship is in the best location? Probably the C-3 here. To establish speed. And all that, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and begin with range, however. All right, set three kilometers out. That's kind of far. I do want to close the gap for that. Uh, we will get the speed momentarily. Angle on bow, however, I'll say that's around a 50 degree AOB to starboard. That is a good looking vessel though, man. That's British. Looks like all three merchant ships here are indeed British. Okay. Yeah, we should be in a pretty good position here. There we go. Alright, all ahead slow. Slow the boat down. And 
let's time the, the ship now that we're not moving nearly as quickly. Yeah, this is good. All right, we'll time the vessel from bow to stern. Start the timer. All right. I mean, just look at all the detail there with the rigging and everything. Some of the most detailed ships in any subsim I've seen. It look really good. It's impressive. Okay, almost done. So we get at the stern, we'll stop the clock. So will give us a rough estimation of the target speed. Stop. Set six knots. That is pretty believable, I must admit. We will reevaluate the speed as we get closer. The ve best vessel to probably get the speed on is uh, this little guy, the Empire Litten. See Empire Lionel. Oh. Um. Which where's the C3 cargo ship? Oh, I guess the our our target is the C3 cargo ship. Okay. All right. Got a lot got a lot cooking here. Okay, let's hop to the scope. All right, we're going to try to get speed one more time. Bow to stern. Just in case she's going faster. And we will need a fire right after this. I think I have time to get range one more time. I do want to take out the first two ships in the line. After that, I will leave the last one for the deck gun, possibly. Maybe I can just... Uh, Shoot two at the C3 cargo. There's even people, there's a dude smoking up there. That's nuts. Anyway, we can shoot two at the C3 cargo and then one at each of the other merchant vessels uh, because this guy has quite a few guns on board. This is definitely the one I want to sink. It's a lot of armament, it's a lot of firepower. Six knots once again. Okay, let's uh, quickly examine the other ships. To see if they have armament. Unarmed. Unarmed. Okay. Okay, let's get the range of... Well, I guess I want to shoot the one that's further away first, huh? Well, I do want to get his range real quick. One more time. So, uh, seven knots. Angle on bow. Like an 80 degree angle. Set. Where is the range? Range. Go up. Set. 840 meters. Okay, unlock. We will be firing at you first, my friend. Lock on target. Let's establish range one last time. Gotta get used to all these different symbols and everything for each tool. Okay, right to the tippity top of the mast. Mark. One kilometer, perfect. Torpedoes. We have a two G7Es and tubes one and two. That's what I will be firing. Speed is limited to 30 knots. Torpedo depth. What is the depth of C3 cargo? C3 cargo. Draft is 8.78 meters. So we'll set it to, we'll set our torpedo depth just to three meters to be safe. Dispersion, we want very little. I'll, I'll do like a five meter dispersion. All right, tubes. One and two, oh. loss. All right, tube one away. And tube two away. Unlock, swing to our friend here. Lock on target. We have a G7A. Prepare to fire. I'm gonna wait momentarily, let's check our map. 
Okay, hopefully these torpedoes don't hit this ship that's right in front of us. Okay, it looks like they will pass in front of her. It's odd that the G7Es have a bubble trail. I think that is something that should not be there. It is a... yeah, it certainly shouldn't. G7Es were electric driven and the main benefit of having the electric torpedoes was they didn't have this trail. It looks like they are running hot, straight and normal towards the enemy target. Okay, torpedoes covered half its distance. Tube number three. Um, let's change this. 500 meters. Alright, tube three. Flood. Speed. Fast. Depth three meters. That's fine. Alright. Tube three. Los. Alright. Oh, we got a hit. Two hits. Oh, brutal. And that other torpedo's heading towards this one. Oh, it went right under her. Um. One more torpedo. Tube number five. Speed 44 knots. Dra draft one meter just to get this thing out of here. Tube four, los. All right, hopefully that thing hits. 20 seconds of impact. Oh, and the C3 cargo is going down. Whoa! <laughs> Our third torpedo managed to hit that torpedo and then uh, serious damage. That ship is hit as well. I meant to say our third torpedo managed to hit that ship, not that torpedo. That doesn't make sense. Words are difficult when it's exciting and this thing's going down like a like an iron <laughs> she's going down fast all right all ahead standard let's surface the boat oh she broke in two down here wow uh that was a mighty fine attack if i do say so myself quite a few life rafts in the water some debris as well let's go ahead and leave the view in get this puppy on the surface let's get our Hans go ahead and get on the radio and uh, let BDU know of our success let's go ahead you my friend switch to diesels all head standard and let's turn on the diesel compressor to begin recharging our compressed air and uh, get on the deck gun get on the bridge Let's close in on the last ship, the Empire Law. We'll finish her off with the guns. That went very well, <laughs> I must say. Uh, much better than I anticipated. Oh, it looks like we're running alongside these little boats. Some cargo. I think we can actually interact with it. Contains eight dried fish, so we can actually pick this up. And fish the cargo out of the sea. Uh, let's see if there's anything exciting. Dried fish. Well, we don't really need any fish. Dried fish. Looks like they were just shipping food. Uh, but this guy isn't. Looks like he has a military truck on his deck. A couple of willies. Yeah. That's not food. Alright. Train our gun over. We're kind of far out. Let's try. Yeah, it's kind of hard to aim with this. Uh, there's no good reticle on the deck gun, so I'm going to try to get closer in an attempt to reduce the amount of misses. I do have a uh, the diesel engine smoke mod. As you can see, uh, diesel engine temp is at 32% and rising, and we are leaving quite a bit of exhaust which does contribute to visibility, so enemy ships can uh, see this a little bit easier. It's a pretty nifty little mod. And something you need to take into consideration when doing, say, surface attacks and whatnot. I'm pretty isolated out here, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about being detected by uh, the Tommies. They know I'm right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, wrong button. I'm not playing Silent Hunter. Fire! And I missed. 
typical. That was just a ranging shot, you know. Nothing, nothing crazy. All right, getting pretty good. Pretty good hits. It looks like they're already abandoning ship. Give up that easy? Might be a little light. Oh, I think I'm just coming across the uh, C3 cargoes, life perhaps. We'll continue to throw armor-piercing rounds down range at her. Can actually reduce speed. Um, what? Someone said attention. I think. Captain. Oh, I don't know what's going on. Well, let's get back on our gun. Oh my goodness, getting a little bit, a little bit of lag. I'm just kind of worried that a uh, enemy aircraft would be. Damn, that lag's odd. Okay, there we go. It's fixed. Don't know what that was. Early access game, though. Stuff like that is uh, be expected. Oh, that smoke is <laughs> pretty crazy. Got a fire on board. She's listening to the bow, it seems. There's no way she can take too much more. Looks like we've expended 11 rounds in total. Let's try to spread it out a little bit. Oh, missed. Yeah, she's listening pretty heavily, but... Let's see. Let's take a look at our friend. She doesn't look too good. I was saying pretty heavily to starboard, but I'll keep firing. Oh, wrong key again. <laughs> keep pressing spacebar. Fire the guns. Wonder where I picked up that habit. Whoa, did that shot just ricochet? What was that? That's that's pretty crazy. I don't know if you folks saw that. That was pretty neat. If that's what I was seeing. Oh, are these flares? Okay, I gotta look. Uh, what, what, what are you shooting? Oh, I can't see it. All right, I'm gonna have my crew go ahead and open fire on this thing. Turret ships. don't know what you guys are doing okay let's train the gun I'll finish it off I think maybe they are just fly firing flares I thought it was a ricochet at first but if they're shooting flares off that's that's just as cool I gotta say go good hits let's hold fire until like have a pretty confident solution here. Started another fire on board. All right, let's close a little bit more. Looks like she is almost done for. Needs a little bit more encouragement, however. Nope, she's going down. Enemy ship is sinking. Let's go ahead and uh, send that in the BDU. And is my gun crew firing at something? Yeah, they are. Get off the gun, you morons. Go to sleep. Actually, no, no, no. You get back on the gun. Let me take over for a second. All right, all right. we want to turn the deck gun. Oh, shoot, I did not mean to fall. <laughs> I accidentally clicked my ballast mouse button. All right, leave position. Get off the gun. I want the deck gun facing forward. I don't want it facing off to starboard or port. I want it straight ahead. 
And it bothers me. It really does. And there's there's few very few things that bother me as much as my deck gun not being centered. Well, anyway. Well, I have to say that was a mighty successful encounter for the U-96 today. Three merchant vessels sunk for, I'm not sure how much, tonnage, but quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, we still have about a third of the patrol to finish here in grid AM, so uh, I'll save that for next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like as it really does help out the channel. And uh, I will go ahead and end it now. So thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack345 signing off. And I'll see you guys on the next one.